I am Johnny Archer. It is Tuesday, October 20th, and here are the six things you need to know today. Starting tonight, Miami-Dade County will reinforce curfew until its appeal against a recent injunction on the emergency order is decided. The county's current court battle stems from a lawsuit from a local strip club. A reminder, the curfew is from midnight until 6 a.m. And the polls are back open today after Politico reported a record opening day for in-person early voting in Florida. Miami-Dade County says a record-breaking number of voters came out yesterday, reporting more than 43,000 people voted. In Broward County, more than 27,000 ballots were cast. And local officials say all voters should be able to cast their votes free of intimidation at polling places. Police in Miami-Dade and Broward say they are implementing extra safety measures at polling locations. City of Miami Commissioner Ken Russell notes that there are no laws that allow private militias in the state of Florida. And he says open carry at polling locations and military garb is illegal. All voters are encouraged to call 911 if they witness intimidation attempts at a polling place. Some changes have been made to Thursday's presidential debate. President Donald Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden will have their microphones cut off while their rival delivers their opening two minute answer to each of the debate topics. But the open discussion portion of the debate will not feature a mute button. Any interruptions made during the discussion portion will count toward the other candidates time. And a plan to streamline Miami-Dade County's transit system is set to move forward another mile. Uh, today, commissioners are set to vote to support the Better Bus Project, which aims to get riders to their destinations quicker and easier. Transit Alliance Miami and advocacy groups says people need the transit system more than ever as they are trying to get back to work. In Miami-Dade, 36% of transit commuters are essential workers. Okay, so let's check uh, or check in on the tropics here. We have Tropical Storm Epsilon virtually stationary, but we expect it to make that turn uh, to the northwest. Right now, over 700 miles to the southeast of St. George, Bermuda, it's likely to turn into a hurricane as it passes east of Bermuda. We think far enough to the east that we should be avoiding major impacts here. No impacts across the U.S. whatsoever here, which is great news, it appears, for everybody involved, right, including Bermuda. We'll continue to track it, obviously. Locally, it's that gusty east breeze, high humidity levels, high moisture content, and that's going to yield high shower and thunderstorm chances over the next two to three days. But we do see some light at the end of the tunnel this weekend. We see the light. All right. Thank you, Adam. And those are your six things you need to know today. You can always follow all these stories and get a check on the forecast on the NBC6 app. And remember, you can watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube. Have a great Tuesday.